Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. We are back with our monthly sponsored video from Plex. And this month, I thought we would take a look at a few tiny features for Plex Pass holders that I haven't looked at before. They're not all that exciting, but they might improve your Plex quality of life greatly. And I wanted to point them out because I was not aware of them until I started digging through uh, some of the Plex support documents. So we're going to take a look at this handful of small features in just a second, but I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that this is a paid sponsorship from Plex. However, they are not reviewing or approving this before it is uploaded, and all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. So let's get into it now and see what these little tiny features do for your Plex experience. Now, a bulk of what we're going to focus on in this video involves settings in your player app. And what we're gonna do on this Android TV here is go to settings, and we're going to scroll down to the player experience. And you're gonna see a bunch of icons here that you may not have seen before, or perhaps you just didn't pay attention to. You will only see these though if your app is up to date and you have a Plex Pass. Unfortunately, at least at the time I'm recording this video, these features for playback are not working on Apple devices. That includes the iPhone, iPad, and Apple TV. Also, the web player doesn't support this either. However, most of the TV platforms do support the features that we're going to focus on here. At the end of the video, we're gonna look at Plex Amp, the music player, and the feature I will demo there does work on everything. So, why don't, why don't we take a look at the first one here, which is called Rewind Video on Resume. Again, we're talking about some minor features here that might be pretty useful. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't watch anything anymore in the full length because my kids are always coming in and asking me questions, and then you forget what you were watching because you had to go deal with whatever you were dealing with. So what this feature will do is that when you pause and then restart the video, you can have it rewind a little bit so you can remember where you last left off. So uh, what I'm gonna do here is set it to 15 seconds, and what I'm gonna do now is jump into a video and see if it rewinds properly for us so we can pick up where we last left off without forgetting what we were watching. All right, so here we are watching Meridian on Netflix, which is one of their Creative Commons movies, so we can avoid copyright issues here. And right now I'm about two minutes in. I'm going to hit the pause button now because my kids need something. So we are paused here at two minutes and three seconds. And now if I resume it, uh, what you will see here is that it will rewind back to 1 minute 48 so I can <laughs> remember what happened before I was interrupted. Again, little feature, but it might be really useful. Let's take a look at the next one now. Now, this next feature involves the skip intro and skip credits feature that Plex added a little while back. I did a whole video on that feature so you can see how it works at the server level. This new feature works at the player level. So if you're connecting to a server that has these skip functions enabled and you don't want to see the skip option, you now have the ability to turn it off. So let me show you how this works. We're going to jump into our uh, screen here and go to the skip intro button. And it is set by default to manually. And what this means is that when a TV show starts up, you will see the skip intro button and you can decide whether to push the button or not. That's what it means by manual. Now you also have the option here to disable this feature completely so you never see the skip button and it plays the intro out in full. You also now have the ability to have the intro skipped automatically. So this will skip the intro without any user intervention at all. So if you are confident your libraries have been detecting intros properly and you turn this on, you'll never see an intro again, which is pretty neat. Uh, this next one is related but only involves uh, people who are using the DVR feature. As you know, the Plex DVR has the ability to skip commercials, and you now have the ability to have those commercials skip automatically without having to push a button first. This only works, though, with the DVR that records over the air content, uh, not with content that you add yourself. Um, but again, you have the ability to disable that feature completely, have it go manually, or automatically skip commercials, which might be a nice uh, feature bump for a lot of you. And the next one related to all this, of course, is skip credits. And again, it's set to manual here by default. But what I'm going to do is jump in here and have it go automatically. So now what we're doing when we play back our next round of media is we're going to skip the intro automatically and then we're going to skip the credits automatically. So what should happen is when I go from one episode to the next, it's just going to get to the end of the episode and then start the next one right after the credits. Let's take a look. 
All right, so let's take a look at the feature in action. I unfortunately have to blur a lot of this out for copyright purposes, but as you can see, this is Star Trek The Next Generation, season three, the finale, where Captain Picard gets kidnapped by the Borg, the best cliffhanger of all time. And I had to wait the whole summer when I was a kid to see what happened to Captain Picard in the fall when season four kicked on, but not anymore. Here in the future, automatically skips right in. So we're gonna play it back here from the most dramatic moment of the episode. This is where, of course, Captain Picard is on screen. Everyone's concerned now that Captain Picard has been kidnapped by the Borg. By the way, I forgot I had that 15 second rollback still enabled here. And what's gonna happen now is we're gonna go to the uh, big dramatic pan to Commander Riker where he says, Mr. Worf, fire. And then we get the to be continued, which will show up here next. And you can't see it on screen with the blur, but it's there. And what you're also gonna notice here is the skip credits enabling. And if I don't do anything, it will automatically skip over to season four, episode one. And here you go. So now we've got season four, episode one, starting up automatically. Now this episode begins with a recap of what happened in the prior episode because it was the whole summer between uh, the finale and the premiere. Um, but again, it will just keep rolling forward to each episode, skipping the credits and skipping the intro. Now, if this is not working for you, take a look at your auto countdown time and make sure that it's set to immediate. If it's not set to immediate, what it will do is pull up that up next interface when the credits start. So by clicking immediate here, you won't see the up next feature at all. It just rolls right into the next episode. Now on a related note, if you happen to fall asleep a lot in front of the TV like I do, and you don't wanna have the player go all night, what you can do is enable pass out protection. And what this will do is stop playback after a certain length of time. So mine is set now for two hours. You can set it for one hour. So that way at least it'll play for a little while, but it won't play all night because I've had more than a few occasions where I fall asleep in front of the TV and Netflix or whatever else I'm watching just keeps going and going and going. So you can set it for an hour or two or less. What it will do is actually prompt you first to make sure you're still awake. Uh, so after two hours, you might see a prompt to uh, keep watching. If that prompt is bothering you and you really just wanna binge for hours, you can turn on never prompt and it won't prompt you ever again, but it will also keep playing until it gets a button push again. Now this last feature we're gonna look at is something that I haven't played with before inside of PlexAmp. And PlexAmp of course is the awesome Plex music player. You do need a Plex Pass for these features, and there are some things now that free Plex users can do on Plex Amp, which we talked about in the past. Now, what we're looking at today is called Mix Builder, and what this lets you do is build out a mix of audio to listen to based on artists or albums, but there's no AI stuff going on here. This is all what your preferences are. So let's start with the artist one first here. And what I've got here on screen are a few artists that I listened to recently. So maybe I wanna add uh, Motley Crue here and Ugly Kid Joe and Warrant. And if I go ahead and play back this mix, it'll start off with a Motley Crue song, uh, but the rest of the stuff will only be songs from Motley Crue, Ugly Kid Joe or Warrant. And if I've got a bunch of albums from those artists, I will only hear them in this uh, mix playlist that it put together. Now you can also do it by album. So if there are specific albums you wanna to listen to, you can also do it that way. So for example, I've got uh, Dr. Feelgood here that I can add to my mix. Uh, maybe I wanna put a little Russian here for, uh, break it up a little bit, and maybe we'll do a little Veruca Salt here too. And now if I go ahead and play back this new mix, uh, what it will do is give me songs only from those albums. And as you can see here, it just kind of alternates between them as it works its way through the albums that you're listening to. So. Again, a subtle little feature here, but something that might be kind of fun. Uh, sometimes uh, Plex Amp can take you on a musical journey, which is a lot of fun, but maybe sometimes you wanna limit yourself a bit to a specific artist or group of artists and albums, and you can do that here with Plex Amp. So that's gonna do it for this one. Nothing huge here, but these are features that I think add some improvements to the quality of life on Plex, and I didn't know about them. There's a good chance you didn't either. So if you got a Plex Pass and you have the right devices here, check it out and see if these things add some value to your Plex experience. That's gonna do it for this one. I wanna thank Plex for their longstanding support of the channel, and until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.